Think reports are produced for the European Commission to advise on pressing energy issues. The Think Tank report, of which I'm currently the project leader, looks at demand response. And the project aims to give recommendations to ensure that consumers actually shift towards demand response and not just drift into it. As there is currently no efficient way to store massively the electricity, it must be used at the moments of its generation. Conventionally, this balance is capped by the flexible generation units that follow the variations of electricity consumption. But now, as more electricity produced from the unpredictable renewable sources, more flexibility is expected from the demand side. To have a sustainable energy system, green energy alone is not enough because renewable energy sources such as wind and solar are intermittent. Wind turbines need wind to turn and solar panels need sun. Demand response is about consumers playing an active role in balancing electricity demand and supply. It can mean that consumers reduce their consumption but also increase it, for example, during a very windy night. It is all about the right timing. In order to have active demand response, we need active consumers. This is already the case in other sectors like telecom and travel, with tariff selection having long been established and now even with service management through smartphone applications becoming the norm. With deployment of smart meters, consumers in the electricity sectors can also have the possibility to make deliberate choices about their energy consumption not only saving in energy bills, but also contributing to a sustainable future. However, considering factors like price risk, risk of power containment, privacy and even contract complexity, when will consumers become active in the energy sector? In 10 years or 100 years? In order to stop drifting and start shifting, consumers need tools. But how to find these tools? We argue in our report that you have to look at two factors. You have to take into account the rewards, but of course you also have to take account of the risks. What is your potential to become an active consumer? What is the role of regulators and policy makers to assist consumers? Will active consumers imply a new design of the electricity market? This report provides answers to these questions together with our recommendations on the necessary toolkits to empower and engage consumers in the transition towards active demand response. If you would like to know more about our recommendations and the reactions of stakeholders, you can visit our website where you can find our report and policy brief on shift not drift towards active demand response and beyond. You can also join my webinar on this topic you can see the details on the screen now.